Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video I'm going to be drawing Yamcha. The boy Yamcha. They in the ship, they moving around. It's weird, why is Yamcha, I don't know why Yamcha is the one flying, you know, like, uh, I don't want to say he's not the most tech savvy, but the person that, you know, should fly their own ship would be Bulma, don't you think? It's weird that she's not the one driving and one of the individuals that can actually fly are act is actually the one that is piloting. Kind of doesn't seem right to me. Uh, also, um, Android 18 ended up doing what I was thinking this episode where the after the shockwave of Vegeta blowing himself up, the shockwave uh, disrupted something in the system of the plane that they were in, and it started to go down, and Android 18 went outside of it and carried the ship pretty much on a Superman status, um, and then, like, they landed, right? I was thinking to myself, like, wh like why didn't Yamcha do that, you know? And if you're going to be a troll and be like, oh, well... Yamcha's weak. That's why Yamcha didn't do it. Come on now, grow up. You're like, even as weak, quote unquote weak as Yamcha is compared to every other Z fighter, him compared to every other fighter in most worlds are like he would stomp them. Okay, like Yamcha is not. He's not the weakest by any means. But there is a giant gap between him and the act like the actual next Z fighter. So like if you took all Z fighters, put them on like a scale of power and you have Yamcha. Um, well, no, you have Chatsu, Yamcha, and then the next fighter, the distance between those two. And like in enough in itself is like so like vast. That's why people think Yamcha is weak, but he's not weak by comparison to other characters. He's weak by comparison to the group, right? So the group, it's like the group in itself are characters that are able to fight beings on like insane levels of strength, right? But keep this in mind, that only works to a certain extent because even when they become uh we even when we see a strong fighter, guess what? 9 times out of 10, the only ones that can actually fight against those characters are Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan. Those are the only individuals that can actually fight against like a higher power. And nine times out of ten, the other Z fighters, even though they show up to the battle and yeah, they don't die right away. But those guys can't touch the enemy that they're going to fight. Even Krillin knows that he can't fight like a lot of these enemies. He still shows up to the battlefield. And yeah, Krillin is still stronger than Yamcha, but. Think about it in think about it in this regard. We saw what happened when Goku saw Krillin die. Yeah, they killed Krillin. You know, they made a big thing about it because Goku transformed. They're not just gonna keep killing off all these characters just because they can. They did it those two times to show how strong the opponent is, uh, was. But now what they do to uh, combat that is they have. Our characters being brought to the within the inch of death and that would be the correlation to display the character strength versus what it was previously because now everybody has died a time so you can't really wish them back so what what, what, what are we going to do if we can't wish them back to life you know like that would be the mentality so um yamcha being the catalyst for the deaths uh, in order to show how strong characters are. That's why people think that he's weak. But if you're going to tell me that he can't lift a ship over his head, you capping, right? 
Because if Goku can lift a car over his head as a kid, yeah, Yamcha can definitely lift a ship now in in uh, Kai. The reason why I would make that comparison was because Yamcha fought against that kid Goku, but the kid Goku that he fought against was far more trained than, well, no, I don't want to say far more trained, but he had more experience than he did when he lifted up that car after taking the bullet from, well, not after, but uh, when Bulma shot him. Like, that instance, like, he had, like, a fair amount of journey after that before he ended up meeting Yamcha. And Yamcha was, you know, doing his, you know, wolfing fist uh, tactics. I don't want to say he, like, you know, gave Goku a run for his money or anything, but he was fighting with him, which is enough to put him in, like, the picking up a car league. And then Goku in the beginning of Dragon Ball Z was able to lift, like, this giant tree and if we scale this Yamcha to that Goku, not the current Goku, to that Goku, then even that would be enough to lift um, a plane. But yeah, let's get into this.
I am finished with this picture of Yamcha. I think Yamcha is Yamcha is a good flyer, right? Yamcha Yamcha be doing his thing. Yamcha is a good talker, schmoo talker. You know, it's his thing. When it's not, it's, you know, unfortunate. Like when he's dealing with somebody like Boma and now they stopped. They're sitting in the middle of nowhere. He's the one fixing the ship instead of Boma, which is majorly weird to me because when ha- okay it's weird because when have Yamcha ever been like stated to be like you know like intelligent by any means like we haven't seen him do anything like technic- technologically advanced or anything so why wouldn't Boma be the one to fix the capsule corp ship that she was just in it doesn't make that much sense to me um Maybe he's just like, you know, like the typical like, oh, well, you know, men are the handymen. So he has to know what he's doing. Uh, And she maybe gave him some direction on how to do it. And he just got under there and did it. But what made more sense to me would have been for her to uh, do it. Uh, No, never mind. It probably is the, the, the former where she told him what to fix underneath there. He saw it. She's like, okay, do this to it. And then he started doing it. That makes more sense to me. Okay, yeah, never mind. I changed I changed my previous statement. It just makes more sense to me that Bulma, you know, knowing so much about technology, she'd be able to see what's wrong with it. She'd know how to fix it way easier than him trying to figure out how to fix it, you know? But that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment section. Still make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace, love, thanks for watching.